In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on January 27, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Houston Rockets vs. Brooklyn Nets In a highly anticipated interconference showdown in the heart of New York City, two determined teams vie for a crucial victory to improve their standings. The Houston Rockets, having embarked on a road journey, face off against the Brooklyn Nets on a Saturday night filled with basketball action. Just the night before, the Rockets were engaged in a fierce battle against the Charlotte Hornets in a back-to-back -back series. Unfortunately, they succumbed to a 137-131 overtime defeat at home against Portland earlier in the week failing to cover as a 10-point favorite. Conversely, the Nets, in their most recent clash on their home court, suffered a narrow 96-94 loss to the Minnesota Timberwolves, managing to cover the line as a four-point underdog. As we delve into the historical matchups between these teams, the Rockets hold a commanding 66-37 advantage in the all-time regular season series, securing a 112-101 home triumph in their first encounter this season on January 3rd. The Houston Rockets find themselves in a challenging stretch having lost five of their last seven games. Despite this, they experienced a much-needed boost by snapping a two-game skid with a dominant 138-104 road victory over the Hornets. Jalen Green played a pivotal role in leading the team, contributing 36 points, nine rebounds, and four assists on an impressive 1-2 of 2-0 shooting. Cam Whitmore provided valuable support off the bench with 24 points and 11 rebounds, while Fred Van Vliet added 14 points to the scoreboard. The Rockets showcased their offensive prowess by shooting 56% from the field and connecting on 13 of 33 attempts from beyond the arc. After a closely contested first half, they erupted for 83 points in the second half, securing a convincing win. On the flip side, the Brooklyn Nets are grappling with a dismal stretch, having suffered defeats in 12 of their last 14 games. Eager to halt a three-game skid, they fell agonizingly short in a 96-94 loss to the Timberwolves. Cam Thomas led the Nets with 25 points off the bench, accompanied by contributions from Mikkel Bridges and Nicholas Claxton. Despite their collective effort, the Nets faced a 17-point deficit and, despite a spirited comeback attempt, went scoreless in the final 110, sealing another disappointing finish. As the teams gear up for their clash, potential roster challenges loom. The Rockets may face a shortage with Reggie Bullock and Yeezy and Tate listed on the injury report. Similarly, the Nets continue to miss the services of Doric Whitehead and Dayron Sharp. The Rockets, having played in Charlotte the night before, enter the matchup on the second leg of a back-to-back. -back. With point guard Fred Van Vliet back in the lineup after recovering from a back injury, the Rockets aim to rebound, especially as they have slipped below the .500 mark. Jabari Smith Jr.'s availability remains uncertain, given his recent absence with a sprained left ankle. Caution is expected in managing his participation. Despite both teams experiencing a downturn, the Rockets hold the edge against a struggling Nets team, primarily owing to their solid defensive prowess and ability to control the game against an offensively challenged opponent. Last night's resounding victory over the slumping Hornets provided a much-needed lift for the Houston Rockets, steering their season back on track. Conversely, the Nets find themselves entrenched in their worst slump of the season, ruining a narrow loss to the Timberwolves in their latest outing. Confidence in either team has been hard to come by this season. However, considering the Rockets' earlier 112-101 triumph over the Nets on January 3rd, a similar outcome is anticipated favoring the Rockets once again. Therefore, the Houston Rockets to cover the spread as underdog stands as our comprehensive full-game side pick. Examining the statistical landscape, the Houston Rockets have trended towards staying under the total in 23 of their 43 games leading into Friday. Positioned sixth in the league for turnovers, they average 12.7 per game, while ranking 18th in tempo with an average of 98.3 possessions per game. Brooklyn, on the other hand, entered Friday's action with the under posting a 22-21 
down to one mark in their 44 games this season. The Nets lag behind in tempo, ranking 25th in the league with an average of 97.6 possessions per night. Despite their below average pace, the Nets showcase proficiency in limiting turnovers, standing 7th in the league with an average of 12.7 turnovers per contest. Houston's pace of play heading into this contest is ranked 23rd. Fred Van Vliet's deliberate playing style significantly contributes to slowing down the game, although he appears to have overcome recurring back issues. Meanwhile, Brooklyn closely trails Houston in pace and has struggled with shooting accuracy throughout the season, ranking 28th in the NBA. The Nets' penchant for attempting numerous three-pointers aligns with the Rockets' strength in defending beyond the arc, holding teams to around 34%, securing a third-place ranking in the NBA. Given the offensive limitations of both teams and their commendable defensive performances, opting for under the projected total emerges as our preferred full-game total pick. Los Angeles Clippers vs. Boston Celtics The Los Angeles Clippers are riding a wave of success as they embark on an Eastern Conference tour, making their way to Boston for a showdown with the Celtics scheduled for this Saturday. Having emerged victorious in 11 of their last 13 games prior to facing the Toronto Raptors on Friday night, the Clippers are poised for another challenging matchup. On the flip side, the Celtics are returning home after a triumphant three-game road trip, where they triumphed over Houston, Dallas, and Miami. The Los Angeles Clippers, currently on an impressive streak, have clinched victories in 12 of their last 14 games. Their pursuit of a fifth consecutive win gained momentum as they dominated the Toronto Raptors in a commanding 127-107 road triumph the previous night. Spearheaded by a triple-double performance from James Harden, the Clippers showcased a well-rounded effort, with Paul George George, Russell Westbrook, and Norman Powell contributing significantly. The team's efficient shooting, with a 50% success rate from the field and nine successful three-pointers out of 32 attempts, allowed them to seize control early in the game, securing a 14-point halftime lead. Conversely, the Boston Celtics have displayed strong form with six victories in their last seven games. Aiming for a fourth consecutive win, they demonstrated their prowess by defeating the struggling Miami Heat 143-110 on the Road. Jason Tottenham led the charge with an impressive stat line, supported by Chris Tapps, Porzingis, and Jalen Brown. The Celtics showcased exceptional shooting accuracy, registering a remarkable 63% from the field and connecting on 22 of 40 attempts from beyond the arc. Their dominant performance was evident from the outset, establishing a commanding 42-point lead in the first quarter. Despite the Clippers still missing Ivica Zubac and the potential absence of Kristaps Porzingis for the Celtics due to an ankle sprain, anticipation is high for a thrilling clash between two of the league's hottest teams. This matchup is being viewed as a potential preview of the finals, considering the Clippers' recent stellar performance and the Celtics' quest for a fourth consecutive victory. The Boston Celtics, boasting a strong home record at 20 to 1 straight up are expected to be the favorites. However, the line appears steep and serious consideration is warranted, especially if the Clippers decide to rest key players after their previous night's game. The Clippers have been making a strong case for being the league's top team, covering the spread in seven of their last ten games. Given the circumstances, it might be rare to find the Clippers as underdogs with this many points throughout the rest of the year. While acknowledging the Celtics' potential for victory, the hefty line suggests that taking the Clippers with the points could be a wise decision in what is anticipated to be a closely contested matchup. Hence, the Los Angeles Clippers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. With the Clippers engaged in a back-to-back -back scenario, the strategy may involve slowing down the pace of the game, and key players might be rested. Considering these factors, opting for the under seems prudent. Boston has also exhibited strong defensive prowess, forcing turnovers and challenging opponents to take difficult shots, contributing to the likelihood of a lower-scoring game. Although the Celtics have a mixed record of 22-23 in hitting the under this season, the Clippers, at 22-19-1, suggest a tendency towards lower-scoring affairs. Additionally, both teams play at a pace ranking in the bottom tier, and the Clippers, on no rest, may further contribute to a slower pace game. Therefore, under the projected total as our full game total pick.
Utah Jazz vs. Charlotte Hornets Utah Jazz and Charlotte Hornets are set to face off in a crucial interconference clash in Buzz City, both teams eager to secure a victory and improve their positions in the standings. The matchup unfolds on Saturday night, with the Jazz making a trek eastward for the game. In their recent outing, Utah emerged victorious on the road against the Wizards, securing a 123-108 win while being 7.5 point favorites. On the other hand, the Hornets faced the Pistons on the road and suffered a 113 to 106 defeat as a two and a half point underdog. The Jazz hold a significant historical advantage in the regular season series, boasting a 47 to 20 record and clinching victory in the last two encounters, including a 119 to 111 win on March 11, 2023. Having experienced a brief slump, the Utah Jazz found their rhythm by putting an end to a three-game losing streak with a convincing 123 to 108 triumph on the road against the Wizards. Lori Markkanen showcased an outstanding performance, leading the team with 29 points, seven rebounds, and five five assists. John Collins contributed 22 points and an impressive 16 rebounds, shooting 11 of 15 from the field. Jordan Clarkson provided valuable support off the bench with 19 points and 8 assists. The Jazz's collective effort resulted in a 51% shooting accuracy from the field and a 1-3 of 3-1 display from beyond the arc. They dominated the Wizards early on, scoring 36 points in the first quarter and extending their lead to 25 points in the third quarter. In contrast, the Charlotte Hornets have struggled recently, losing 9 of their last 11 games. Their woes continued with a 138-104 loss to the Rockets, marking a two-game skid. Miles Bridges led the team with 21 points, 7 rebounds, and 3 assists. Despite a resilient first-half performance, the Hornets faltered in the second half, ultimately shooting 41% from from the field and 9 of 29 from beyond the arc. This defeat added to their challenging season, characterized by a 5-14 home record as of Friday night. Utah, now at the .500 mark, aims to capitalize on their recent success and improve their road record, currently standing at 8-17. In contrast, the Hornets have struggled at home with a 5-14 record. The Jazz have been on an upswing since Christmas, winning 13 of their last 19 games after a slow start to the season. Meanwhile, the Hornets face the challenge of playing the second game of a back-to-back, -back, a situation that has proven unfavorable for them. Despite the difficulties, the Jazz enter the matchup with an impressive 28-18 against the spread record for the season, covering in eight of their last 10 games. Utah's resurgence was highlighted by a dominant third quarter in their recent victory over the Wizards, securing a 123-108 win and ending the three-game losing skid. Lori Markian's 29-point performance, coupled with John Collins' 22 points and 16 rebounds, propelled the Jazz to victory. Collins, in particular, had had a standout game, recording his fourth 20-point game and setting new season highs in both points and rebounds. The Hornets, on the other hand, find themselves in a challenging position, having traded away their primary score and facing a series of losses. As the Jazz continue to demonstrate strong form, the Hornets struggle with losses, failing to cover the spread, and facing the fatigue of a back-to-back -back game. The Jazz, with a 28-18 against the spread record, are well positioned to secure another win against the struggling Hornets. Despite a consistent considerable line, the Utah Jazz to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Entering the interconference meeting with the Hornets, the Jazz stand ninth in pace. Charlotte, facing the absence of key players such as Terry Rozier and the likely unavailability of Kyle Lowry, relies heavily on Lamelo Ball. However, playing on the second leg of a back-to-back -back may lead to Ball being rested due to injury concerns. Charlotte ranks 19th in pace and struggles with a diminished squad. The Jazz, with their superior form, are poised to take an early lead and maintain control over the game. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total position. Thank you. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know. 